To explain how the Detail tab works, we are back under the Sketch tab inside of our report. The Detail field is one of the places where we would usually build the properties that we want Practicad to report. In this particular case, as you can see as we've laid out here, we would like to see in this particular column the property of diameter out. We're actually reporting the diameter out of the conicals, followed by a little inches symbol and the diameter symbol. Over here, we'd like to see the quantity of fittings per each diameter. And this is going to bring up the topic of grouping, and we're going to focus on that topic quite a bit after this particular tutorial. Here, what we're going to do is focus on just utilizing the proper quantity. So we're going to put in the properties for diameter and quantity, and we're going to make it work so that we see it represented as it's here. So the first we're going to do is click on the field here under detail under the diameter header, and we're going to say that the property, we're going to choose D for diameter, and then we're going to pick diameter out. Whenever you're utilizing properties, pay attention to make sure you are grabbing the proper one. The property diameter out looks very similar to the property damper out. And it's very easy to make a mistake if you're moving quickly. So always move slow and double check to make sure you are choosing the proper property. So what we're going to do is we want to say we want to see property damper out. We're going to hit the ampersand. And then what we're going to do is we're going to combine it with the inches key and the little symbol for diameter. So we're going to combine it with text. So we're going to hit the plus key. And then we're going to come into text and we're going to type in the inches symbol. And we're going to copy the diameter symbol out of the character map. And we already went over tutorials on that. There's a quick tip underneath the custom tag videos. Hopefully you've watched how to use the character map. Currently we've got the character map on our desktop. We've got the diameter symbol highlighted. We're just going to copy it. And then we're going to paste it right here under text. We're going to enter it into our expression. And now we can see that the first field is going to produce the diameter out plus the inches and the diameter symbol. So we're going to border it. Then we're going to center it. And now we need to pick a format and precision. We're going to say decimal zero for this particular field. Now we're going to move over to the quantity field. To go over quantity, most of the time, whenever we're talking about quantity, we're actually talking about what we call sum quantity. We have nine items on the drawing that we want to report. Three conicals that are eight inches, three conicals that are 10 inches, and three conicals that are 12 inches. And we want the report, as you can see here, to show what we call the sum quantity of all of the fittings that have the same diameter out or that are grouped by diameter out. In this particular tutorial to start off, we have nine items in pairs of three, and each of those that are, have the same diameter out are identical. Every single property is identical. That makes the report a lot easier, but sometimes you're sorting and you're only grouping by one or two parameters and we're going to get into that in later tutorials. So currently what we're going to do is show you how to utilize the sum function. If you double click on the field, you can see here in reports that ab above the if then else expression, we added the sum function. And what we're going to do is we're going to say function sum, we're going to hit the ampersand, and that's going to put it into the expression. And then we're going to put inside those parentheses the property quantity. And this property exists only inside reports currently. We're going to hit the ampersand and now we're going to say border it on all four sides, center it, and we're going to choose the format decimal precision zero. Some quantities we just want to see a numerical value like one, two, three. When you use some quantity, it's going to total up the quantity of items that you've specified are grouped together. And there's two ways to group and we're going to go over that. One way is to go into the selection tab and utilize this feature. It says use one record for identical items. This is a great way of grouping if in fact your report is going to have items that are always identical, all the properties. However, most of the time we're grouping stuff by one or two parameters. In that particular case, we have to go over the group by section, which is coming up shortly. First, let's uncheck use one record for identical items. 
Let's save this and then let's use this report on our drawing. We're going to highlight all the items on the drawing and then we're going to utilize this report and we're going to put it there. And what we're going to do is take a look at the number of rows, the number of line items. Currently, if we count, you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The reason it's reporting nine line items is because we have nine items that meet our selection set. The first three items here do not have the catalog name Conical, so Practicat didn't report them. That's correct. So for the rest of this tutorial, we're going to delete these. We're just going to focus on these nine items. We don't want our report to have a separate line item for each entity. So what we can do is we can use the function, use one record for identical items, and get a sum quantity of the ones that are identical. So to do that, we're just going to delete this report. We're going to go back into the library icon. We're going to go back into our selection tab, and we're just going to check use one record for identical items. And what that means is we're going to now get a sum quantity of all the items that are identical. And whenever we use the word identical, we mean that every single parameter in the property box is identical from one fitting to the next. Every parameter must be identical. We're going to hit save. We're going to exit out. We're going to run this report one more time. We highlight these entities. We run our report. We click. We put it on the drawing. Now you can see that the report has been designed the way we want. It's now giving us a sum quantity of the identical items, 8-inch, 10-inch, and 12-inch. So here we've done it correctly. 